Hey everyone, Nittany Lion Roar here, and I'm back with another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this one, I'm going to talk about Bertilla, the new hero of the month for January 2021. And then I'm going to give her a grade at the end. As you can see, she's a green legendary hero in the fighter class. She has a couple passive abilities, one being mana from dead minions. So anytime she owns minions that die, she gains a little bit of mana. And she has this resist blind. If the opposing heroes uh, try to hit her with a blind, she'll be able to... Uh, resist that which is kind of cool as far as stats go she has 718 attack which is pretty good um, that's better than uh, a number of five star heroes although i would say it's average or maybe even a little low average for the new heroes that are coming out at this point uh, 774 defense is really high so she's very very tough that's going to make her good at being a tank or, or possibly a flank or something like that on defense um, and then just always good for when you're bringing an attacking hero on offense to have high defense from damage dealing uh, opposing heroes. And she has 1,367 HP. Uh, that's actually a little, a little bit lower than um, a lot of the newer heroes that are coming out. But over the history of Empires and Puzzles, uh, as far as legendary heroes go, um, that's about average. So her special is called On Guard. She is slow, and that is going to be a hit on her grade that I give at the end because uh, this game has a lot of really, really good, very fast, fast, and even average heroes that it's hard to make a slow hero work because basically uh, it takes so many tiles to set them off that oftentimes the match is over before they really go off. So if a hero is going to be slow, they better have a game-ending type of special. So let's look at the special. Deals 290% damage to all enemies. That is pretty good damage, and especially if you put emblems on her and can get that up a bit, um, that, that will be a good amount of damage for all heroes. The thing you have to consider with a slow hero, though, is you've often already killed a number of the opposing heroes before that goes off, so then it turns into not quite as much damage as you would think up front. Uh, she lifts all cleansable status ailments that affect attack or defense from all allies and randomly distributes them on enemies. Now, what's interesting about this one is whenever Empires and Puzzles have had cleansers for most of their history, um, for some reason recently they've been trying to do something where they uh, mess with certain cleansable effects. Um, like, for example, Ruben, he doesn't cleanse, but he uh, lowers the amount of damage that status ailments do, but see, that's very specific, and it's like, why wouldn't you just bring a cleanser anyway? The thing that makes Bertilla's special a little bit better than Ruben's is that at least she takes the cleansable effect off completely and distributes it to the enemy, so even though it's not a full cleanse, uh, it does distribute it back to the enemy, and I can tell you from having Lady Loki, that's extremely powerful. But see, Lady Loki is an average speed hero and does that with any status effect, not just one's that are attack or defense. So already, Bertilla is definitely not as good as Lady Loki because hers is much more specific. But Bertilla also has an elemental link, um, as all the heroes of the month tend to, where she summons a nature minion for all nature allies with 5% HP and 10% attack inherited from the caster. That 10% attack is actually pretty good for a minion, um, but... They, uh, the minions won't last super long because they do have 5% HP, but that sort of works well with her special because, of course, whenever the minion dies, um, she's going to gain a little bit of mana. So that does speed her up a little bit. The problem with this is, on her own, uh, it's going to be a long time before she goes off. Now, after the first time she goes off, she can go off a little bit faster, but how many times are you going to fight a match where you have a slow hero go off twice? Um, she's kind of like a, like a slow the first time and maybe like an average the second time. That's going to be really hard to do. Now, it would be interesting to take a hero like Delilah along that creates minions first and faster, especially if she has a level 23 uh, mana troop, or any other hero for that matter that has, uh, has minions that they put onto other heroes. Like, for example, even Buddy, let's say. You know, if you stick her next to Buddy and then the minion dies, that'll help speed her up a little bit. But that's very, very niche, and I can't imagine that working well. So, you know, if they come out, which I think they're planning to, a, a number of heroes that interact with minions, you might see this become a little bit more valuable. They're coming out with more and more minion heroes. So if you can get minions on her early, you can make her go off a little bit faster. And that might be the way to use her. So what do I think about this special? I think it's suffering from a lot of the same 
thing that makes Rubens not quite as good, which is like, um, it's a little bit late to the cleansing status ailment party. A lot of people are going away from status ailment heroes now on both offense and defense because uh, there's been so many cleansing type effects that have been created. And uh, this is only a like half cleanse and only for attack and defense. I will say a lot of the heroes that are becoming popular right now, though, do still have that particular status ailment effect. Like we're seeing more and more in wars like Zaylene on the flank. Uh, we're also seeing... Frigg and Finley, which do a lot of that. So Bertil is definitely more useful than Ruben. It's definitely a hit to her that she's slow. It's going to be very hard to use her um, in most situations uh, where you've got a lot of five-star heroes on like the battlefield and in raids and things like that. Um, so for that, she gets a big hit to her grade. Uh, but she is she is a, a little bit better than Ruben. And another thing that she's got on Ruben from uh, last month is that She's going to be much better in the very fast tournaments and very fast wars than Ruben is because the special is more useful and she's a fighter. So she's going to stick around a little bit longer, hopefully. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, for that reason, I'm going to give her a C because I think she's useful, but I think that it's relatively niche and you need to work hard to make her work. So she's not going to be an easy hero to make work. If you're a somewhat newer player and she's one of the few five-star heroes you get, she's definitely going to be useful and good to put on your defense and things like that. Um, see if you compare her with other minion makers and uh, that's going to be how you use her. All right, guys, what do you think? Did I overlook anything? Am I underestimating her? Am I overestimating her? What's your opinion? Make sure to put it in the comments. And if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to give the video a like uh, and subscribe, um, hitting that bell notification so you know when I drop more videos just like this.